Welcome to part three of three in my series of Taylor series, and if you can tell from the craft, today we're going to be talking about arc sine and arc cosine. By this point, I assume you know the drill, so we're just going to be writing out a bunch of derivatives. I only wrote out the first three derivatives, and at this point, it's important to notice that these derivatives are the same, except the arc cosine has the negative versions of the arc sine. Now, this makes sense because there's a symmetry at x equals zero, so if we shift the arc cosine down, we can then reflect it, and that's what your arc sine is. So more or less, arc cosine is equal to a flipped arc sine added to pi halves. For this reason, we're only going to solve the arc sine Taylor series, and therefore we'll know the arc cosine Taylor series. Arc sine of zero is, as in the graph, zero, but then we're going to notice that the second derivative has a sitting x right here, so that's also going to be zero. We're going to notice that this is going to have even derivatives equaling zero. This is always frustrating because it means you're going to have to run, write out a ton of terms to figure out the pattern. Just a reminder, Taylor's series is f of x equals the nth derivative of 0 times x to the nth power divided by n factorial, and I'm going to write out the first few terms. As previously stated, we'll notice that every other term is going to equal to 0, so we can just rewrite this with only the non-zero terms. The next thing that I want to do is write out all of the factors of these green numbers, that way we can find that pattern. I want to rewrite this in a way that will make the pattern a little bit easier to see. More or less what's happening is we're taking the product of the odd numbers and we're just squaring it. We have this dangling one that we can't really write as anything, so we're just going to leave that out for now. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I've defined x question mark as equaling x times x minus 2 times x minus 4. It's important to notice here that 2n plus 1 and 2n minus 1 will always be an odd number. If odd is whole, then 2n is even, and 2n minus 1 is odd. In a previous video, we defined this equality so we can replace 2n minus 1 question mark with this expression. If we plug in n equals 0 to this equation, then we get 1 divided by 1 times x to the first power. Well, that's what this is, so we can just start the counter at 0 and get rid of this term. The final step is taking this and just simplifying it. We can write 2n plus 1 factorial as 2n plus 1 times 2n factorial, and we can cross out those two. 2 to the n times 2 to the n can be written as 2 to the 2n, and then that's it. That all simplifies down to this summation, which we can use to define our cosine as well. Thank you for watching, and stay around, because in the next video we're going to be playing around with this.